Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cecilia. Thank you for watching. And today we're gonna be, I'm gonna be showing you how I do my nose contour. Okay, so first we're gonna get started with, I always like to, like to do whenever I do my concealer. Right now I did my under eye concealer. But the thing is that I always bring it all the way to here so right now i did my eye but i'm going to show you how i bring it up to right about here and then all the way over here okay and that is for you to be like to get a slimmer nose okay and then i blend it with my beauty sponge so right now i already Applied concealer in the rest of my eye, but I just wanted to show you briefly that I bring it up to there up to this Pretty much the edge of the nose right here Not all the way like just here like in this little part where you feel Where you feel the flattest right here. That's where you're gonna be putting your concealer to and then I blend it, okay? And then, after I blended my concealer, I also bring a line down the very middle, a thin line in the middle of my nose. In the very pointy middle right here, okay? And then I just blended it out too, very careful. okay then after that what i do well what i like doing most of the time is i just grab my airspoon powder or any eye powder i'm sorry not eye powder any powder that you use to set your makeup with okay so i grab that and what i do right now i'm using my airspoon translucent powder so I grab that powder, okay, with my mm, Real Technique sponge, and I put it on the very edge, and what I do is go where I put my concealer, exactly there, and I, and I just, well, not bake, but set everything, okay? right there so right there i have my powder all the way to where i put my concealer okay and i just bring it everywhere so there we're gonna where we put the line of our concealer down the middle of the bridge of our nose we're gonna do a little line there too okay Okay, so now we're going to be grabbing our Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And I'm going to be using the shade Shadow Play, okay? So this middle shade right here for contouring our nose. And then I like grabbing this brush. It's a profusion brush, okay? It's a little angle profusion brush, but it's really flimsy like it's not nothing um, pointy or anything like the bristles are really flimsy like soft okay so this one's also good too it's a royal and Langnickel shader brush but this one's more thick but I prefer the perfusion brush that came with the with the contouring palette okay so very affordable just ten dollars that contouring palette is really good it has several shades for contour highlight and everything and it has some brushes, so I recommend it, okay? If you want, I can show it in the next video. Comment down below, please. And I'll be using this shade, right? The middle one. And then I'm gonna go in with this brush. We're gonna start from 
the top of her brow, bringing it down the very edge of her nose, the line there, doing the same on the other side. Okay, it looks very harsh right now, but that's why we keep the powder there so it can help us um, erase that harshness whenever we take off the powder, okay? So, and then we go in and do a little triangle towards the bottom like that and connect it at the bottom like that. Okay, so now we remove the powder and I use this BH powder brush like that and I remove all my powder. And this is a quick easy step. You also get your powder from there. Okay. So as you can see, it looks a little harsh right there, right? So then I get I just get my this brush, it's like a shader brush, it's a thick one. Well oh, M135 for Morphe. Okay, so then I just grab like just about um, I like this shade, this banana shade from the Contra Palette Lyric, isn't it? And I just like, if it's too harsh, I just go in with that and I just go in the edges like that and try to slim it down a little bit. In this motion, always like towards the contour so it can look slim because if you bring it down, like from here down, it's not gonna help you it's just gonna make your um your contour slouch okay and if you feel like you need a little bit more depth in shin go back with your brush with no product because then it's gonna be really harsh and just go like that down the same part and then whenever you see it's a little bit harsh again you have to blend always blend it away because then you're gonna have a harsh ass contour okay so always blend down your product so there we have it and now you see the difference now with the nose yeah it's a big difference whenever you contour like your nose looks slimmer it's, i don't do it every day okay only whenever i'm like oh i have time but when i don't have time i just do like a little shadow like this i use this elf brush for contouring so I, whenever i'm contouring I just thin it out like this, like I press on it, and I just go roughly on the edges just to form a shadow there, okay? So it's not important always to have a nose contour unless you can live without your nose contour, but yeah. So just to give it a shadow there, okay? Then I go in with my highlight, and I'm going to be using this BH Cosmetics brush. It's like a blending brush. And to highlight, I just go down with a little point there. And then I just go down the nose in the middle, just in the middle. And if you feel again that you need to blend away, because sometimes it's a little harsh, you just go down. And hopefully this helped you, okay? Thank you for watching. Hope to see you back again next time. Thank you. Keep smiling and stay fabulous. Bye.